So hey, it's Rob in the kitchen again today. Uh, I'm going to be trying to cook something new. Uh, this is my own recipe. It's my own concoction. I've seen things sort of like it, but this is uh, this is kind of my own little take on it. I'm not sure if it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to hold together. Uh, I'm calling this chicken bacon bombs. Uh, what I've got is some chicken thighs that I deboned and took the skin off. I'm going to uh, mix those with some jalapenos, some pickled jalapenos, wrap those in bacon, and then wrap all that in the chicken skin, and then cook those. Now I've had the chicken thighs marinating for a few days, along with the chicken skins marinating for a few days in some, like a spice rub. Uh, trying to, I guess, dry them out a little bit and get some of the, the flavor involved into the meat. So, I'm going to give it a shot and see if it works. I have no idea. Let's find out. All right, so the ingredients that we've got here are the four basic food groups. We've got chicken thighs, boneless, uh, debone these, jalapenos, chicken skin, and bacon. Now, bacon is definitely one of the food groups. Uh, if you don't believe me, uh, look on the internet. All right, not entirely sure how to do this, but I'm going to start with a little bit of oil on the pan. and lubed up. Uh, lay the bacon down. Lay down the bacon. Rest here in my pan. Don't you think I've got someone to eat you? Uh, let's see. Like I said, I have no idea if this is going to work. Hmm. I if I can get another one on there. That actually rolled up kind of nice. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to stay together like that, but I kind of like that. This is promising. Okay, those actually went together a lot better than I had expected that they would. So, I mean, they held together fairly well. I ended up running out of uh, running out of chicken breasts. The I'm, one of these, I think, this one is. Just got the one chicken breast in it, the rest of these have two. And this one is just the leftover bacon and some chicken skins and some jalapenos. <laughs> so there's no actual chicken breast in this one. I'm expecting this is going to have a whole bunch of bacon fat and chicken fat in the bottom. But, you know, that's okay. That's what we get for cooking chicken and bacon together, right? So I'm going to throw on a little bit more seasoning. Uh, across the top of these, just because I like seasoning. I don't know if this is going to make much of a difference, but, you know, do what you can with what you have, right? A little bit of... I oh, guess I'm not going to do that. I don't have it open. That's some, some uh, dry rub that I made a little earlier. So right now I've got the oven preheating to uh, 375, it's a convection oven, so about 400 degrees. These are pretty thick, so I'm going to pop them in. I might actually put the, the meat thermometer in one of them. I think that's probably a good idea, so I can make sure that the internal temperature gets to 165, because it's chicken. Um, and you know, there's we get the skin and everything else, so there's there's 
bound to be some microbes in there, but I'll be back after uh, after these are done, and we'll see what they look like. All right, those appear to be cooked. Know how they taste yet, but they uh, they certainly look uh, greasy. Uh, all right, I'm gonna try and <laughs> try and uh, drain them a little, and uh, I don't know. We'll see if we can get into one and see what it's like. <laughs> all right, you ready? Because I don't know if I am. You know, that'll do. Chicken meat is very tender and moist. Full of flavor. Oh my goodness. That turned out okay. I'm kind of impressed. So, hey, it worked. I'm you know, the experiments go. This is a, a total win. Um, I'm probably going to do this again another time. I think maybe the spices are... Uh, I'm going to change up the spices a little bit, but... Overall, I'm impressed. This came out pretty good. Uh, a lot of grease, as, you know, I suspected there would be. Um, total grease pour-off was uh, enough to fill, um, like, a soup can. Thank you, Piper. Piper is very interested in the uh, chicken bacon things. She wants to eat it all right now. All right. Anyway, cool. I think this worked out okay. Talk to you guys later. And hey, if you do this, let me know. So, hey, it's Rob, and welcome to the kitchen again. The dogs are here too. I'm calling them chicken bombs. Well, no, I'm probably not going to call them that because that's probably a bad name. But uh, anyway, you'll see what I mean. Okay, oh, hey, it's Rob, and I'm in the kitchen again today. Going to be trying something new. Uh, this is uh, my own concoction. Uh, I've never tried this before. I don't know if it's going to work, but. It seems like it might. I'm going to call this uh, chicken bacon bombs. Thank you, Piper. <laughs>